Hello, Woods of Odin responding to Cute Witch 772 uh, about f she answered somebody else's question about fluffy bunnies and silver raven wolf. The only silver raven wolf I have read is snippets on the internet. Now that is very spurious because um, you can have people just completely misquote and quote mine on the internet. However, um, I have been to her website and I have read essays wherein people quote her and say well this is wrong because blah or actually this book isn't as bad as some other book because blah and this book is you know is good for reference and this book is bad because of that whatever. I don't tend to like Silver Raven but then I'm not Wiccan. Um, even when I was what I would consider a fluffy bunny and I will get to that. I didn't like Silver Raven Wolf. And I was like, wait, huh? Who? Huh? What? Now? Um, I've seen snippets of to ride a silver broomstick, and some of the stuff I was reading, unless I was reading, you know, things that somebody had made up just to make her look bad, it kind of made my brain melt. I'm sorry. Um, so she's not an author that I would suggest, but that doesn't mean that I've actually read a few of her books and I can say, well, I do suggest this and I don't suggest this. Um, go to one of the, go to one of the, the YouTube Wiccans, um, and ask one of them. Fluffy Bunnies, okay. Uh, let's see. My first introduction to this word was in internet chat rooms in the late 90s, and I knew it was a bad thing. Um, let's see. Now, my definition of a fluffy bunny, and I ordinarily don't use the term, is someone who, um, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And usually such people are very light, bright, happy, you know. Um, I think this is because they might say they work with fairies, but they don't know about um, the Celtic Fae and that they aren't like the Victorian fairies, for example. Or they may talk about Buddhism and letting go of your ego and stuff like that, but they don't know that there's violence in the history of Buddhism like any religion or or they may talk about Buddhism but if but they they are all about their ego and they don't look like they've actually done any genuine Buddhist practice they're just a lot of talk <laughs> Or they may, or, or or certainly you have people who say that they are Wiccans or that they are Satanists because, or, or witches of any variety, and because it scares people and they do dress and speak and act like the stereotypical witch. And when you actually get down to the nitty gritty, why they do what they do, who they are as a person, and how much they know, it is very scant. It, lights are on, but nobody's home. Also, you have a great many people who they want to sell books, whether they're from, you know, something more new agey, and this isn't to disparage, you know, all the new age or anything, but because, you know, the New Age has a history in um, Western occultism, spiritualism, um, and yes, certainly Christianity and, you know, Christian mysticism and stuff. So it's, you know, the New Age isn't just part and parcel all fluffy, but certainly you have people, whether they're from a, a more New Age bent or whether they are from something, quote, darker, um, they want to sell books, and whether or not the books are substantive, they'll they'll put on a show. They'll dress up with 
the stereotypical accoutrements of the occult. Crystals, robes, stars, moons, the works, and they'll look like, you know, Madame Foots caught in the door. And, and they and then you may think there's something there, but you buy one of their books and it's either it, it's a lot of cliches, just a lot of repeating of the same, you know, Wicca one on one stuff, or it's just stupid. Nothing in there has anything to do with what you're looking for. <clears throat> and um, generally speaking, one thing I've noticed about fluff bunnies is that they spout cliches and they go go after easy targets like on YouTube. It's very easy to go after a fundy Christian, for example, and say, well, Okay, well, you're a, you're a homophobe, or, or you're stupid, whatever. You know, easy target, and it gets people on your side, and maybe you have something on your channel that says, you know, I'm a witch, I've been practicing for so many years, I, I have, have the grand silver moon star fucking blowing fireballs out my ass, cover, whatever whatever your persona is on YouTube and you gather um, a flock so to speak by attacking easy targets and then spouting cliches that everybody knows that anyone can find out that if they go to Wikipedia uh, basically the idea of fluff for me is it looks good and it feels good it can be very comfortable but when you squeeze it there's really not much substance there at all. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who I think confuse um, things like love, kindness, social behavior, um, veganism, um, not wanting to hurt animals and kids, things like that, for, for fluff, which is really sad because yeah, nature kills other things in nature. I mean, it, nature kills, nature fucks, we know this, okay, moving on. Um, nature also nurtures. Yeah, um, any brand of paganism um, acknowledges the, the dark things, the things that can be scary, um, the things that people don't like but still end up serving a purpose in an ecosystem in the grand scheme of things uh, you know, nobody likes it when loved ones die for example but they go into the ground, they give it nourishment, the trees grow, circle of life right okay very pagan to acknowledge these things and respect these things but, you know, y there's also sunshine and, and trees and flowers and chirping birds and basket weavers. It's, never mind. You get my point. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there, there is a set of people that think if you talk about comfort and love and joy and peace, that you are automatically somehow s saying that the universe doesn't contain conflict, war, killing, eating, you know, animals, eating other animals, and things like that. So, um, and if you want to want an example of, uh, say, a vegan that isn't fluffy at all, I would uh, point you to Amber Emancipated. You know, she's not all. Oh, let's just be all la 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 Whatever. And if, since we're all spiritual, we can give up our free will to the almighty mystical sky daddy and I was Cleopatra in a past life. <laughs> no, she's nothing like that, but she's a vegan and some people...